What up guys, Sumel983 here, here bringing us updates and purchases number 42, part 2. And this is going to be the CD and vinyl collection update that I said in my last updates and purchases. And yeah, just to kind of recap a little bit, um, as I said in my last updates and purchases, that I pre-recorded an updates and purchases back in, I think it was around October, November time, and... Um, yeah, I completely forgot to upload that one, and so I decided to redo the video entirely, along with adding the stuff that I've been getting recently, and then when I actually looked into it, it meant going back like a year, like over a year, so there was a lot of CDs and a lot of vinyl to showcase today, I've got so many to showcase, so we better crack on with it so I can get through all this. But yeah, we're going to start with the vinyl. And the first one is one of my all-time favourite death metal albums and one from my favourite death metal band of all times, The Black Dahlia Murder. And this is their album, Death Laureate. Yeah, when I got Ritual um, a few years back, I was praying to God that they would do a vinyl reissue of Death Laureate. And on the 10th anniversary, they we got one and... I'm over the moon to have this in my collection now. This is a 10 out of 10 album. If you haven't heard it, make sure you do so. In my opinion, it's a bit different from what the, the sound that they're going for nowadays. It's a bit more darker sounding, whereas this one's a bit more um, upbeat, you could say. But I just absolutely love this album. I think this is a 10 out of 10 album, personally. Um, so it comes on a single vinyl and it comes with some goodies, which I'm going to get out. If I can reach the hype sticker. Yeah. But it comes on a, a gear fold, like that, with the lyrics and liner notes and the logo there. Very, very nice. So it comes, um, it says on here, 10th anniversary vinyl reissue, clear steel blue marbled vinyl, number 38 out of 300, limited to 300 copies worldwide, includes an XL poster. Very nice. You have to keep the hype sticker from a vinyl, if you ask me. And then it comes with a... A fuck off giant poster of the album artwork which I definitely plan to hang up in here at some point so yeah because it's one of my favorite albums so I have to display it and it's a black dye murder so you know it has to be done so yeah with that being said let's showcase the vinyl so as I said it's a marble steel blue vinyl and it comes on a nice printed inner sleeve really nice and then that's the vinyl colour, you can barely see it in this lighting, but yeah, it's slightly blue tinged to it. It looks grey in this video, but it I can promise you it's still got that blue marble effect. Absolutely incredible. I haven't spun it yet because I still haven't got my vinyl player uh, set up, but in due course I will set it up. Because I'm still doing out this room a little bit and I've got to get it all set up and stuff, but in due time it will happen. So I'm just going to quickly put this away, like so. But yeah, what an album this is. If you haven't heard this album, make sure you do so. It's got all the bangers on here. So, The Black Dye Murder with Death Laureate. Incredible stuff. And I've got a cup of tea at the side, so you'll see us sipping that throughout this video. But yeah, next up we have Carrick Angren with Lamondum, which is another one of my all-time favourite albums. And as you know, got it tattooed on his... Yeah, it's one of my favourite black metal albums and it's absolutely incredible from beginning to end. And this is the second press I might as well add. It says, Swamp Green, double vinyl, strictly limited to 300 copies world worldwide. Reissue of Carrick Angren's highly sought after debut album includes three bonus tracks. Yeah, absolutely love this album. I'm kind of good that I missed out on the first press, the golden red splatter. But, you know, shit happens, and I'm not going to spend, like, a hundred, over a hundred quid on a vinyl. That's just ridiculous. Anyway, so this is the vinyl colour. Uh, you can kind of see it. It's kind of like marble, um, swamp green. Really, really nice. Um, I haven't spun this one either, but uh, I'm looking forward to giving this one a spin. I've heard that black metal is the best thing to spin on the turntable, just to let it spin and just dwell into, you know. So that's my... Um, hype about this album mainly but yeah so there's the back cover and um, printed in a sleeve with the lyrics and the guys very nice indeed but this wasn't the only Carrick Angren album I got recently on vinyl and um, you probably can guess which one I'm talking about and um, I can get this in 
you know, it's funny to see YouTubers fighting with vinyl um, sleeves because they never ever go in the same way that they came out. So yeah, there's the next one, Lot Caragangren with Lamondum. And then the next one, you can guess, is Caragangren's second album, Death Came Through a Phantom Ship. Another absolutely incredible album. This one is gold double vinyl, strictly limited to 300 copies worldwide, ratio of Caragangren's highly after second full-length album, including three bonus tracks. So yeah. I had to get both of them because these two albums are absolutely incredible and two of my all-time favourite albums and this one is just as good in my opinion. I said in my review, it's not quite as good as Lamondon but it is still very good. So yeah, great cover art, and then I'll print it in a sleeve, lyrics and some really cool artwork there. That's the back. And as I said, this one is on a gold vinyl, which I'm, I was quite surprised, gold for this one, but you know, but yeah, it's very nice gold vinyl. Yeah, absolutely incredible stuff. And I've been spinning these albums a lot lately, like not the vinyl presses, but um, on my phone and stuff. So I'm very happy to have um, these in my collection. As I said, trying to keep collecting my favorite albums and these two definitely fall into that category. So. Tarek Angren's two albums, absolutely incredible. <sighs> Alright, next up we have one of my favourites from last year. Distant with Tyrannotopia. Yeah, this album, man, is one of the heaviest albums out there, if you ask me. It's so fucking good from beginning to end, and I'm so happy to have this version on vinyl. Like, absolutely incredible. I mean, just look at that artwork, man. Fucking fantastic. I think it's uh, Lordigan, I think, done the artwork for this. And, yeah, comes with a, a printed inner sleeve with the lyrics and notes. And then it comes on a single vinyl, which is a clear red marbled vinyl. You can see the marble in there. Absolutely gorgeous. And, yeah, to have this album on vinyl is absolutely incredible. One of my favourites of last year and it's the one I still keep on putting on and still getting blown away by so make sure you check it out if you haven't already if you're into down tempo slam deathcore whatever you need to hear it it's absolutely fantastic so I'm just gonna stick this back in there so yeah distant with Tyrannotopia amazing amazing album Alright, next up, we have my favourite album from 2018, which goes to Ice Nine Kills with The Silver Screen. I know they've done, a, I think it's called The Final Cut, I think it's called Deluxe Version of it, which I've heard and it's absolutely incredible. But this album, man, as soon as I've seen it on vinyl and it was the coloured one, I had to pick it up. It, it was just calling out to me. Absolutely incredible release, if you ask me. So I'm going to pull this out with Slave. There we go, really nice design, and then comes on a single vinyl, if I'm not mistaken. With comes with a download code, which is just dropped on the floor. Well done. And it has this hype sticker, Ice Nine Kills, the silver screen, on translucent bloodshot vinyl. Very nice, so I'm just going to put that over there. So this is printed in a sleeve, number one, and nothing on that side, but the ears on that side. <laughs> Yeah, and I'll lift out the vinyl. Just look at that, man. It's like very clear. I mean, you can see me through it. And yeah, it's just grim and just fits the, the atmosphere and the theme of the album. It just looks absolutely incredible. Really happy to have that. I'm not going to pull the other one out because, yeah, there's not really much point. And because I can't get this one back in. There we go. And the other one comes like this which is kind of like a old school typewriter font thing of lyrics and stuff absolutely incredible yeah well absolutely love this album and i still will listen to it daily and it's still my favorite album of 2018 if you haven't heard it i'll be very surprised so yeah i'll just put those back in there So yeah, another album of the year that's made it onto me, into my vinyl collection, should we say. But yeah, Ice Nine Kills with the silver screen. Incredible stuff. 
Next up we have uh, a one that I just got on eBay and I'm quite surprised how cheap I got it. But this is Malevolent with their debut album, Rain in Suffering. Or Rain of Suffering, I always get that mixed up, but yeah. Wow, to have this one on vinyl, um, I'm absolutely flabbergasted by it because I got this for like... I can't even remember how, I think it was like four quid or something like that, or even seven quid, somewhere, anywhere between that. And I was so gobsmacked because it, it's on a um, coloured variant, but love that artwork, absolutely incredible. And then it comes on a single vinyl, like so, put it in a sleeve. And then there was a jacket in there, but it's on silver vinyl, which I was very surprised that... This went for so cheap and it comes on an anti-static sleeve in there, which I guess the guy just threw in there, but I don't know. But yeah, absolutely incredible album. Um, not as good as Self Supremacy in my eyes, because, you know, Self Supremacy is my favourite album of all times. But man, this thing riffs hard. And yeah, to have it on vinyl along with Self Supremacy is class. And yeah, it's only got like a little bit of a rip just on the top there and a little bit of a fold in the corner here but apart from that it's in pristine condition very surprised so yeah unless when I play it it skips a little bit then I don't know but I've got it on vinyl absolutely blown away to have that yeah malevolence with rain of suffering got it right that time next up um, one of the best progressive metal albums of all times I'm going to quickly take this one out the sleeves and make it a little bit easier we have Meshuggah with Orbson. I absolutely love Meshuggah and I'm starting to explore a little bit more into their discography because uh, there's still a few albums that I'm a bit um, that have eluded me all these years you could say but this one will always be an absolute classic in my eyes and everyone's eyes it's like Bleed is not on the only good song on this album there's Electric Red, Combustion, the title, uh, title track Orbson and Dances to a Discordinal System what an album just filled with absolute bangers and yeah um, i love a lot of stuff my sugar's done and so far when i've been discovering some of their older stuff i've not been disappointed so yeah my sugar with orbs in and oh i forgot to showcase it's on a gatefold uh vinyl which i'll just open up there we go no printing the sleeves and it's just um on plain black uh, vinyl so you just know what black vinyl looks like you know I don't need to get that out um, but if you just want to I'll showcase it in another update and purchase no I fucking won't <laughs> but yeah absolutely blown away to have this album out it was actually quite hard to actually find on vinyl because HMV had every single one of their represses that they did uh, with alternative artworks and stuff but Orbson was not in there for quite a few weeks so I was um, quite surprised but not surprised at the same time so when they finally got in I was just like yeah I have to get that right now so yeah happy to have that in the vinyl collection and I have spun that one I spun that one just before I moved out and it sounded absolutely killer next up we've got two more releases and the first one being my album of the year for last year and that is Osaya with Kingdom of Lies and still, I think this is the best album of last year. It's absolutely so crushingly heavy. And I'm just so proud of the boys. And to have it uh, one of their releases on vinyl makes us even more proud. And to see it in this glory just blows me away, man. Absolutely incredible stuff. And it comes on a Gear 4 vinyl, as you can see, with the lyrics, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And then comes on a single uh, vinyl, but it also comes with a, as I said in the CD review and the updates and purchases, it comes with a storybook of the album, uh, depicting everything that you hear in the lyrics, and going into a bit of detail on that. And it's got some great artwork in there as well on uh, every odd page. As you can see there. Very, very nice pressing, if you ask me. And then... Comes on a coloured vinyl as well, which I cannot wait to showcase this one because this is definitely one of my favourites in my collection now, unbiasedly. Comes on a completely clear vinyl with green spots in there. Just wow. Absolutely incredible stuff and I cannot wait to spin this one on my record player when I get it set up. 
I think this one will be like high priority to <laughs> make a boomerang of on uh, Instagram. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. But yeah, absolutely incredible stuff. And Osaya, King of Lies, still my album of the year for the last year. Absolutely incredible. And then finally, some quality metalcore in the shape of Our Hollow, Our Home with In Moment In Memory. Yeah. This is absolutely incredible metalcore from the UK. If you haven't heard it, make sure you do so. Their last album, Heartsick, what got us introduced to the band was absolutely incredible. And then the year after, they managed to trumpet with this album. And I absolutely adore it. Yeah. Comes on a gatefold. <clears throat> I got the shirt, as you seen in my last update some purchases. And it has little liner notes and uh, lyrics for each song with its own emblem. Very, very nice. And then it comes on a single uh, vinyl with a printed inner sleeve of all the emblems. And then it comes on a black vinyl with marble in there. So marble black vinyl, you could say. But yeah, absolutely incredible. As soon as I seen that, I was like that. I think they did a red variant, which I wasn't too um, keen on. But when I saw the black marble, I was just like, oh, I need that. Because I, I was really into the album, listening to it non-stop. And then to finally uh, get it on vinyl was just icing on the cake, if you ask me. And some of these, as you can see, I still need to get wallets for, but I'll get them in time. But this album, make sure you check it out. Fantastic metalcore from the UK. So, yeah, that's all the vinyl. And now, take a deep breath and go pause the video, make yourself a cup of Whatever. Because we have got... A lot of CDs, we've got seven big piles of CDs to get through and I'm going to try and do a little bit better than I have every other updates and purchases because I've said right we're going to speed things up and I've gone into more detail so I'm going to try and just fly through them as much as I can and if you have any questions on what's my thought on an album just leave it in the comments and I'll tell you, you know, not like you scare but you know, moving on let's give this a go. First one being the Acacia Strain with It Comes In Waves. Digipack, awesome stuff. So far, my album of the year, The Acacia Stream with The Slow Decay. Yeah, make sure you check out my album review as well. Fantastic stuff. Yeah, in fact, incredible stuff. Then we have Acrotheism with Law of Seven Deaths. Absolutely incredible album. If you're into Celtic Frost, make sure you check these out. And you might be able to see, maybe not, just down here you can see. I got it signed by the guys. Absolutely incredible, appreciate that. Now we have All Misery with Entity of Revulsion. Incredible, uh, I believe from Mexico, Deathcore. Incredible stuff, they played um, Fall in the Brawl uh, last year and I'm good that I missed them but we had to travel back. Next up we have a few All That Remains CDs. We have Behind Silence and Solitude. Then we have This Darkened Heart. And then we have, um, what's this one called? For We Are Many, which I have listened to this one, and it's fucking amazing. Love that album. Next up, we have Alter Bridge with Fortress. Yep. Yeah. Alter Bridge with The Last Hero. As you can guess, these are in alphabetical order. Um, and also, props to the guy, um, oh, his name, name escapes us. Uh, for selling us those CDs, absolutely incredible stuff. And anyway, American Head Charge with the the War of Art. Yeah, I got this from my brother. Haven't listened to it yet, but I need to check it out. Next up, we have And Hell Falls with with Proprioception. Yeah, classic deathcore album. Oh, I think I've showcased this one, but Rise of the Tyrant by Arch Enemy. Yeah. Architects with The Here and Now. Architects Daybreaker. I need to give this one a little listen. I used to love that album back in the day. Azalea Dying was shaped by fire. The Kings of Metalcore are back. Now, I've finally completed me a trio of discography. I've only had like two albums of theirs. Uh, the latest one and one of their older ones. But uh, when I got a bunch of CDs recently... That I managed to get all their discoveries. So I got um, Suicide Notes and Blut Butterfly Kisses. The Curse. 
which is on a slip case. Really nice. And there we have, what's this one? Lead, se Lead Seals Paper Anchor. I believe it's called Lead Seals Paper Anchor. Yeah. And then we have, uh, what's this one called? Congregation of the Damned. And then we have their second latest one entitled Long Live. So yeah, now I've got all the Atreo albums, but believe it or not, I'm not overly familiar with their, their discography, so maybe in the coming weeks I'll be able to get a chance to actually listen to the full thing. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Next up, August Burns Red, we're found in faraway places. Yeah, this is the jewel case variant. I wasn't going to get the digi sleeve because it's fucking shit. Anyway, I hate digi sleeves. Next up, Austrian Death Machine with Double Brutal. Yeah, it's a two CD uh, variant. Yeah, with the lyric boot, very loose. But yeah, happy to have that. I just need to get the rest of theirs. The newer versions crown with here will... Sorry, I can't read this in the dark. Hell will come for, for us all. Yeah, their new album, absolutely incredible stuff. Love the new vocalist. Next we have Beast with Dance Macabre. Yeah, great album. Barshasketh, which I believe is their self-titled album from last year or this year. I can't remember. But yeah, absolutely incredible album. If you're into black metal, make sure you check these guys out. The new Batushka, the not real Batushka with Hosspotty. Yeah, it's it's a good album. It's just not as good as the other uh, Batushka album. Next up, we have Beast in Black with From Hell with Love. Yeah, really enjoyed this album. I need to give this another spin because it's been quite a few months. Next up, I re-bought um, Behemoth with uh, I Loved You at Your Darkness. I'm oh, sorry, Darkest, which is the um, tour version, with which is fully signed by the guys when I met them. Absolutely incredible album, and I had to get this as soon as I seen it because I went to go and uh, when I went to see them with Slipknot, um, I was going to take me CDs to get signed, but because they were still all packed away, um, I was going to go and buy a CD and then get it signed when I saw them. But then I thought, no, nah, I can't afford it. And I can't really justify doing that. So when I got to the gig and I seen that tour version, I was just like, I'll just get that. So happy days. So really happy with that. So that's the first pile over with. Next up, we have Being as Notion with Dear GD. Yeah. Being, after some Being as Notion for the collection, so I'm really happy to finally have some. Then we have their self-titled album. Which I haven't listened to in a long time, but I remember not being a big fan of it. But yeah, I got it for free, so I can't complain. Next up, we have Benighted with uh, Obscene, Re Obscene Repressed, I think it's called. Yeah, their new album, absolutely incredible, absolutely devastating. And if you haven't heard it, do yourself a fucking favour. Absolutely incredible. I got the Digipack version with the uh, bonus track, uh, bonus tracks, and um, yeah, and also. It big squeals like yeah, so I had to get that, and it came with a, a box set which is just down here, which is this one, and it says um, contains Digipack, um, uh, Death Pig Squeal when opening, two bonus tracks, and um, comes with a, a a nice flag, which I, I haven't put up yet, and a really nice patch, which I'm really really happy about. So yeah. I'll get around to putting that flag up, but I'm really happy with this box set, and it's one of the best death metal, death grind albums of the year. Next up, we have Betrayal with Abandonment. Really cool album. Black Crown Initiate with their new album, Violent Portraits of Doomed, es of Doomed Escape. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, one of the best of this year. Absolutely incredible stuff. The new Black Dahlia Murder album, Venomous. Of Verminous. Verminous, yeah, sorry, my bad. Yeah, another incredible album from these guys, but I don't think it's as good as Nightbringers, personally. Next up, we have a bunch of new albums from the uh, the Riff Lords Black Label Society with 1919 Eternal. Yep, yeah, haven't listened to these guys in so long, so I'm looking forward to giving these a respin. And then we have Mafia. Shot to Hell. And also, uh, what's this one? Order of the Black. I haven't listened to Black Label in ages, but I used to love them back in the day, so I'm really looking forward to rekindling me love for Black Label Society. Next up, an absolute gem in here, and 
fuck Greg, the stupid cunt. But um, I bought these from Chugcore. Uh, this is a uh, black tone with Born Hang and Falsifier. Yeah, obviously, you know, this is an absolute gem and an absolute rarity. And I'm so glad to finally have it. I've got Falsifier, the original version, uh, signed, but I haven't got Born Hang. So one day I will pick up that. But I'm so hyped to have this one. And it is absolutely incredible and stupidly heavy. Next up, we have Blood Red Throne with Brutilitarian Regime. I might have showcased this one, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, incredible album. And then we have their self-titled album, which is even better. And their new album. Whew, deadly stuff, but make sure you check out Blood Red Throne. Next, the new Body Farm album with Dreadlord. Absolutely incredible stuff. I love Body Farm. They are one of my favourite death metal bands on the planet. And... Tom has left an absolute legacy behind because this album is fucking incredible and some of his best riffs and air vocal performance. Absolutely incredible stuff. Make sure you check out Body Farm. I can't hype them enough. Anyway, next up we have Botnagar with True North. Absolutely incredible album. Um, I think I prefer Winter Thrice, but this is still a remarkable piece of progressive black metal. Next up, another heavy hitter, Bound in Fear with The Hand of Violence. Yeah, one of my albums of the year, and as you can see, got it signed by the guys. Absolutely incredible stuff. I'm just going to take a quick drink. But yeah, one of the best of uh, 20, 2019. I'll get there in the end. Next up, we have Brain Drill with Quantum Catastrophe. Got this on eBay, pretty cheap, but uh, it's definitely better than the debut, but it's still got that obnoxious wankery to it, but... Yeah, it's good when the mood takes us. Next up, we have Brand of Sacrifice with God Hand. If you're into um, anime and deathcore, this is your album. Bring New Horizon with Ammo. Yes, I like this album. It's fun. Shoot me. Anyway, moving on, we have Cancer Bats with Searching for Zero. Another one for the Cancer Bats collection. Carnation with Chapel of Abhorrence. Yeah, great album once again. And uh, you may not be able to see it. I think you can see a little pen mark there. But I got it signed by the guys. Really appreciate it. And I still need to check out their new album. But I'm really looking forward to Next up we have the new Car Effects with World War X. Another solid album. Cast Castigated with... Um, I can't even read this. Grotesque Remains. Yeah, some real sick uh, slam and beat down if you're into that sort of stuff. The new Cattle Decapitation with Death Atlas. I've just ordered a long sleeve of this and I cannot wait until it arrives. Absolutely incredible album. Cavalera Conspiracy with Inflicted. The City is Ours with Law. Another one I got signed by the guys. Appreciate one of my best of last year. Cognizance with um, Malignant Dominion. Great tech death from the UK. Coheed and Cambria with um, No World for Tomorrow. Sorry, my reading's right off today, but yeah. I haven't checked out that one, but I did love the one before that, which is an absolutely classic album. Next up, we have Continents with Idle Hands. Been after this one for a while. Great metal car from the UK. Converge with You Feel Me. Digipack version. Yeah, I haven't listened to this one, but I'm a big fan of the con Converge, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. Next up, we have Cromde. I don't believe how it's pronounced. Cromdub? Yeah, I'm no good at pronunciation with Firebrand and Ashes. Yeah, this is some great atmospheric blackmail. If you're into that sort of stuff, make sure you check it out. And as you can see, got it signed by the guys. Really appreciate. And they even included a little promo EP thing. Of this one called Heimwe. Heimwe. Yeah, I haven't checked out this one, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. But I really appreciate the guys sending us that. Alright, next pile we have Dance Gow and Dance with Artificial Selection. Really good post hardcore. Next one, this one just came in today. Dawn of Disease with Procession of Ghosts. Yeah, it's a slipcase. There's the actual art, it's their latest album. Uh, yeah, these guys just announced that they've called it quits, and I'm absolutely gutted because I was a massive fan of these guys, and I'm so sad to see them go, but I'm so happy 
that they've got the albums that they have out. Uh, it's just memories to see these guys are absolutely incredible musicians. Make sure you check them out. Give them some love. Well deserved, if you ask me. Next up, we have A Day to Remember with Old Record. I haven't listened to this one, but I'm a little bit alluded to like the first couple of albums of A Day to Remember. Anything before Homesick, really. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out because I do love A Day to Remember. Next up, we have Deli Plaza with AD, their new album. Absolutely incredible. I know they've dropped a new EP recently, which I still haven't checked out, but yeah, I'll get around to it. Next up, we have Despel Omega with uh, Paracletus. Yeah, some avant garde black metal here. Absolutely incredible. Blows me away like every single time I listen to it. Fucking incredible. And then we have, I believe this is their second latest album, entitled The Synarchy of Molten Bones. Yeah, another incredible album from these guys. Really appreciate it. Next up, we have Deez Nuts with Binge and Purgatory. Yeah, this album's been missing from my collection for so long. I was a massive fan of this album when it dropped. Um, but yeah, such a catchy band. Such a catchy band. Next up, finally got some Deftones albums for the collection. We have Adrenaline from the New Metal Era. Uh, the classic album... White Pony, and also this one I believe is self titled. Yeah, I haven't listened to this one or Adrenaline yet, but White Pony was pretty cool. And as I said in my review of Orphic, I'm still starting to warm up to their sound overall. But one day, anyway, moving on, we'll have Desolated with A New Realm of Misery, their new EP, hard hitting beatdown from the UK, Despised Icon with. Purgatory, Detest with Human Scum, as you can see the guy signed it for us, really appreciate it, and check out my review if you haven't already. Next up we have a bunch of releases from The Dialectic, uh, I know these guys called it quits um, over the past year, I can't remember when exactly it is, but when I went through Chilco and ordered a bunch of things, I had to get these, uh, so I got the entire discography, I got we Are Obscurity, which is their debut EP, another hard hitter from these guys. And we have their self-titled album, which is filthy as fuck. And then their last EP, Agony Anthem, which another great, great release. Sad to see these guys go. They were such an underrated deathcore band, if you ask me. Anyway, moving on. Next up, we have Distant with their album Tyrannotopia. Also, I forgot to mention when I showcase the vinyl, I'm going to be doing a review of their new EP, Dawn of Corruption, which I cannot wait to do a review of that one. But, yeah, this album, absolutely incredible. And as you can see, Digipack version. And if I'm not mistaken, the top of my head, yep, yeah, I got it signed by the guys when they supported Ingested in Manchester. Yeah, such nice guys and some of my favourite dudes. Absolutely love the guys. And this album is incredible. Next up, we have Dragged Into Sunlight with Nada Tongues and their album NV. Yeah, very noisy, very chaotic, but not for the faint of hearted. Absolutely incredible. Dragon Force with Inhuman Rampage. Dragon Lord with Dominion. Great album. Dream State with Primrose Path. Yeah, really solid post hardcore alternative rock. Dysphoria with To The Perfect Form Of Modern Species. Yeah, I used to love this album back in the day. I think it was like 2012, something like that. 2012, 2013, when I first heard this. But yeah, fucking incredible album. Next up, a couple of Eminem albums. We have uh, the Slim Shady LP. Incredible album. Then we have uh, Kamikaze. Yeah, I'm not so big on his new one, but this one, absolutely incredible. Then we have End uh, with their EP, From the Unforgiving Arms of God. I have checked out their new album, it's fantastic, but this EP, whew, definitely, definitely worth checking out. Next up we have Enterprise Earth with Luciferius. Yeah, absolutely incredible stuff. So, in my opinion, some of Enterprise Earth's best work today and Dan Watson's best vocal performance, if you ask me. Next up we have Entombed with Wolverine Blues. Personally, my favourite of um, Entombed. Absolutely incredible stuff. Next up, we have Evile with Enter the Grave. Yep. And then we have 
Five Serpents Teeth by Evile as well. Next up, Feral with Flesh for Funerals Eternal. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Uh, buzzsaw death metal if you're into that sort of thing. Definitely check out this album. Revan. Absolutely incredible. Next up, we have Fintroll with Nifelvild? Nifelvind? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, incredible blackened folk metal you could describe them as. Really good stuff. Then we have Finterforst with Zephal. What an album this is. Absolutely incredible stuff. And then we have Firespawn with Abominate. Another incredible death metal album from these guys. Supergroup featuring members of Entombed AD. Uh, Necrophobic, Dimu Borger, Unleashed and Naglafar. Yeah, playing some really good solid death metal. So yeah, next pile, move this forward. Ooh, everything's shaking and I'm very scared. Right, anyway, moving on. Fit for an autopsy with uh, sea, The Sea of Tragic Beasts. Yeah, absolutely incredible album from last year. Fall of Sleeping, Outspoken. For Today, Immortal. This is a digi sleeve. Blah. <laughs> anyway, From Ashes to New with The Future, great album. If you're into uh, Linkin Park and you like modern metalcore, definitely check that shit out. Weeping, uh, sorry, Full of Hell with Weeping Choir. There we go. Yeah. Gassed Up with G Gnostic, Gnostic State. Yeah, really solid guys and really solid EP. Make sure you check that out. The Ghost Inside with Dear, Dear Youth which I just need their debut now because I've got their new album as well, self-titled. Yeah, absolutely incredible stuff. Glad to see the guys come back strong. Next up we have Gideon with Out of Control. Really solid album. Now we've got a couple of albums from Glamour of the Kill with their, I believe this is their debut album, The Summoning. I haven't listened to this one, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. But I did check out fairly recently Savages, which... Absolutely incredible album. If you want some really solid music to check out, look at this. Absolutely incredible. Might appear in a Super Metal Recommendations. We'll see. And then we have their latest EP entitled After Hours, which is signed by the guys. Really um, blown away to have this. Um, especially only just getting into the band and then to get a signed copy of them straight away was kind of a bit weird. But yeah, I didn't see them live to get that signed. I might as well add. But anyway, moving on, we have Hate Diplomacy with... I can't remember what this is called. I think it's called Rant. Yeah. And as you can see, fully signed. I got this at Fall in the Brawl and got it signed by the guys. And yeah, it was an honour to play with these guys at Fall in the Brawl. They absolutely tore it up with absolute violence and hate. Incredible stuff. Next up, we have Hardest with Nothing You Didn't Deserve EP. Used to love this EP back in the day when it came out back in 2012. And I've been after it for so long that I've seen it on eBay and I had to score it. Absolutely incredible stuff. Next up, the new Heaven Shall Burn with Of Truth and Sacrifice, which is their double album. And yeah, comes with a cover, weirdly. And then two discs and a book. And because I've got like special editions of the other albums, I had to get this version. So yeah, I'm over the moon to have this album. This is definitely one of the best albums of this year. Uh, definitely imp an improvement on, um, I think it was Wanderer, the uh, last album. That was a good album. Don't get us wrong, but to be honest, I don't think it's as good as the new one. Absolutely incredible stuff. Next up, Humanity's Last Breath with Abyssal. Make sure you check out my review for this one. Absolutely incredible progressive deathcore. Amazing, amazing stuff. Next up, we have one of the best of this year and one of the most unique sounding ones of the year. Ego with Spirituality and Distortion. This album is just over the top and just crazy as it gets. And quite frankly, I absolutely love it. I'm surprised how much I love it, but it's it's worth a listen if you ask me. Next up, we have Impending Doom with The Sin and Doom Volume 2. Absolutely incredible stuff. And then we've got another one from them. I've got these in the wrong order, but oh well. The Serpent's Servant. Now, this is a classic MySpace Deathcore album. Absolutely incredible. So hyped out about in the collection. 
Next up we have a couple of In Flames albums with Come Clarity. Yeah. And then we have um what's this one? Can it read you? A sense of purpose, there we go. Yeah. Another one. And then we have a sound of a playground fading. Yeah, I haven't listened to these ones, but I'm really looking forward to checking them out. I recently went back to like the very first In Flames album and damn. They've changed their sound so fucking much. Crazy. Anyway, moving on. We have Ingested with Surpassing the Boundaries of Human Suffering 10th Anniversary Edition. And as you can see, it's signed by the guys. Absolutely incredible album. One of my favourites. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> my second favourite album of all times. And to have it uh, for the third press on CD. It's just incredible. And this one contains the bonus track Erotic Depravity. Yeah. Make sure you hear this album, it's incredible. If you want to hear us do a review on that album, let us know in the comments. Next up, we have Issues with Beautiful Oblivion. Absolutely incredible stuff. And then we have Iris of the Bear Ones with It's All Happening. Yeah, classic album. This came out, I think, 10 years ago. Yeah, 10 years ago. <sighs> Jesus. Anyway, moving on. I'm going to move, do a little bit quick readjust. Just so I can make a little bit of space. There we go. Right, next up we have Ginger with Macro, one of the best of last year. A little bit more adjusting. Justice for the Down with Pain is Power, some HM2 death call right here. Fucking fantastic. Then we have Kill Switch Engage with Atonement. Yeah, absolutely incredible album, one of the best of last year and so much so that I got this one um, you can't see it but I got a tattooed on us as well so and I got two more tattoos recently you might have seen it already in this video but keep an eye out for the next updates and purchases next up we have corporate climbing with Kokija I believe how it's pronounced yeah another great album from these guys yeah Croesus with their album Solemn Vedum. Yeah, happy to have this in the collection. Lashing Out with The Corner Shop. Done a review for this. Make sure you check out my review. As well as the one for the Croesus uh, one as well. Next up, A Life Once Lost with uh, a Static Trance. Lick. Carnage. Great HM2 right here. Lionheart with Valley of Death. Great Hardcore. Lauren Shaw, Immortal. Make sure you check out my review that I did with my guitarist Tom from Cast and Tefra. Great album in my personal opinion. Next up we have um, Make Them Suffer with Old Souls. Really happy to have that one finally. And then we have their latest album, How to Survive a Funeral. I just did a review for this one. Make sure you check out my review. All the review links will be linked down below. Including this one, Malevolence with The Other Side EP. Really solid stuff. Malign with Stand Your Ground. Some rap influence beatdown right here. Great stuff. Martyr Defiled with No Hope, No Morality. And you might be able to see. Signed by the entire guys. Got this on eBay. So hyped to have it. Next up we have Master with Vindictive Miscreant. This is my first Master release. And it's it's good. It's really solid, definitely better than I was expecting because I used to hate Master back in the day. Next up we have Mayhem with Death Crush EP, classic black metal. Metallica with Master of Puppets, now this is the 4 CD, oh sorry, 3 CD edition, which, yeah, I said I was going to get uh, this one in my last updates and purchases and I did get around to getting it. And that, I'm talking about the one that I pre-recorded because I got the 3 CD version of and Justice For All, which, absolutely incredible album. Not so much the mix, but uh, yeah, this is an absolutely incredible release. Love this album. Definitely I can see why they started to go a little bit more proggy, but you know. Then we have a not so great album, Metallica, St. Anger. I know it's got some riffs here and there, but um, yeah, that snare man. It's a meme for a reason. Mental Cruelty with Inferus. Definitely check out my review of this one. Definitely one of the best Deathcore releases in the past couple of years. 
Next up we have Moonspell with 1755. Really solid stuff. Motionless in white. Graveyard Shift. MTXS with Ake. Make sure you check out these guys. Absolutely incredible metallic hardcore. Then we have Neil to Obscurity. King Delusion. Neil's Unsilent Death. And finally, Necronautical with Apotheosis. Apotheosis, I believe that's pronounced. Yeah, great album from these guys once again. Now we're getting on to the two last piles, so. We're getting there, we're getting there. Next up, the new Nile album with Vile Nilotic, Nilotic Rites. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Vile Nil. Yeah. What an album this is. In my opinion, it's one of the best Nile albums in their recent discography, if you ask me. It's the best since Those Whom the Gods Detest, if you ask me. Like, no, actually, It Defalic, I would say. It's the best since then, because It Defalic's always been my favourite. But yeah, this album, whew, it's grown to become my favourite, in all honesty. Next up, we have Norma Jean with Re Redeemer. Yeah, I haven't listened to this one, but I do love a bit of Norma Jean. Especially that latest album. What an album. North Lane with Alien. Obliteration with Cenotaph Obscura. Great death metal album. Ocean Grove with The Rhapsody Tapes. Great album. Of Mice and Men with Earth and Sky. Yeah, I've only recently started to click with this album. At first I thought it was an okay album, but... Recently, I've been seeing. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a great, great album, and it's got a signed bootleg. If I'm not mistaken, if I can find it, yeah, there we go. Signed bootleg by the guys. Uh, I think this was an Amazon exclusive. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but yeah, I'm sure it was Amazon. But yeah, really happy to have this album, and I'm starting to, as I say, it warm up to this album. At first, I thought it was okay, but it's starting to grow on us definitely. Next up, we have Old Dwarf with Reside. Yeah, as you can see, signed by the guys. Got this signed when I saw them, um, uh, when we played with them uh, back last year for our first show. So yeah, really happy to have this. And massive love to the guys as well. Next up, we have Opeth with um, Incorda Veninum, I believe how it's pronounced. Yeah, definitely one of Opeth's best albums, if you ask me. Absolutely incredible. It's got a bit of a darker atmosphere to it, but I think it really works for them. Next up, Paganizer with Land of Weeping Souls. Yeah, some great HM2 right here. And props to my boy Tom for recommending these guys to us. Absolutely incredible stuff. Next up, we have Pekatun. Pekatun. Yeah. Stra Strangling from Within. Struggling from Within, I believe it, it's called. Yeah, I'm not good at pronunciation, as you know, but yeah, great album. Uh, very unique sounding, if you ask me. So if you're into, uh, like, Cradle of Filth, I think, then that is definitely something for you. It's got a very vampiric sort of vibe going for it. <clears throat> Next up, something completely different. Pendulum with Hold Your Colour. Yeah, I used to love this album back in the day, so happy to have that in the collection. Perceptions with False Prophet. Yeah, signed by the guys, really appreciate it. Next up, we have Polaris with The Death of Me, one of the best albums of this year. Great, great modern metalcore. Next up, um, me, ex, um, and her, me Ex and Me, we saw Post Malone uh, last year, and he was absolutely incredible. And she had all of his CDs, uh, but um, when she left us, it made us realise, I do need to get Post Malone into my CD collection. So I picked up all three of his albums. We've got Stoney. Beer Bongs and Bentleys, which is probably my favourite album of his. And then his latest one, Hollywood's Bleeding. Yeah, I absolutely love Post Malone. And yeah, he's, he's just such a cool dude, man. And his music is just absolutely amazing. Anyway, moving on, we have Primordial with Where Greater Men Have Fallen. Yeah, my first album of these guys. Really happy to have them in my collection. Next up, an OG album, Raise the Dead with uh, Hymns of War. Featuring uh, Jamie from Viscera, X Heart of a Coward, X Silosis. It was his band before them. Yeah, I haven't listened to this and I just. Like, 
I can't even think how long it's been since I last listened to it, but I'm really looking forward to checking it out again. I remember it being really good when I first heard it. Anyway, The Red Shaw with uh, The Avarice of Man. Yeah, classic MySpace deathcore, and this album is just incredible. Next up, we have Replace It with Pretending... Oh, Pretentious Pain. Is it? Pretentious Pain, yeah. Really solid, uh, brutal deathcore right here. Definitely check it out. Next up, we have R Roger John Jonason. Roger Jonason with Entrance to the Otherware. Yeah, I loved this album last year when I first discovered it, and I'm really happy to have it in my collection through Transcending Obscurity. I might feature this in the Super Metal Recommendations because it's incredible, incredible stuff. Next up, we have Sabaton with The Great War. Definitely improvement on the last album. Sepultura with Quandra. Yeah, definitely a massive improvement over the last couple of albums, in my opinion. Like, they've been good, but they just haven't had um, an X factor to them. They've been, like, an album that I just listen to rather than something that I really enjoy. Whereas this album, what an album. Absolutely love it. Next up, The New Shadow of Intent with Melancholy. Yeah, absolutely love this album. Sad that they've kind of ditched the whole um, Halo theme, but... Yeah, this album musically is fucking incredible. Next up, we have one of my favourites of last year, Signs of the Swarm with Vital Deprivation. And I highly recommend you see Signs of the Swarm live because they absolutely killed it when I saw them with Ingested last year. This next one um, I got today actually along with um, uh, Dawn of Disease, uh, their album. But yeah, this album is one of the best of this year. Absolutely death metal. Death Metal Perfection, if you ask me. Skeletal Remains with the Entombment of Chaos. Yeah, this is the Digivac version, and I wanted this specific version because not only is it on a really, really nice uh, Digipack, comes with this lush yellow patch, which I'm definitely going to be sticking on a jacket. I'm going to keep that out, actually. I'm going to keep, keep it over there. Anyway, so yeah, what an album this is. If you haven't, actually, I'm going to put it back in just so I know where it is because you know me, I'll lose it. But yeah, absolutely incredible album, one of the best death metal records of the year. Then we have Slipknot with We Are Not Your Kind. We want to forget this album, as I call it. Next up, Soilwork with The Living Infinite. Yeah, their double album, and I was really vibing with melodic death metal uh, earlier this year. And when I listened to this album, I fell in love with it, so I had to get it on CD. Absolutely incredible, incredible release. Next up, finally, at long last, completed me Solution 45 collection with Nightmares in the Waking State Part 2. One of the most underrated bands in metal, if you ask me. Next up, we have The Sorrow with Origin of the Storm. I haven't listened to this one, but I'm looking forward to checking it because I recently checked out The Sorrow with Misery Escape. The guy who sold us the All That Remains, Alter Bridge, and a couple of other CDs in here. I uh, highly recommend that I check us out. Uh, when he was asking what CDs do I want and he was like will you take this one because I highly recommend it because I know your taste and I think you're going to love it and he was right this is absolutely incredible if you're into Trivium definitely check this shit out next up we have an OG album here Spine Shank with the height of I can't even pronounce that but yeah this classic album from them yeah I can't pronounce that word but yeah really solid new metal album then we have a couple of Spite albums. We have Spite with Nothing Is Beautiful. Nothing Is Beautiful? Yeah. I used to hate this album back, back when it first came out, but I've started to warm up to Spite ever since their latest album, and this album is fucking incredible now, I'm not going to lie. And then we have their latest one, The Root of All Evil. Absolutely incredible stuff. One of the best of last year, and something that I can't, still can't stop spinning. All right, and we're on to the final pile. It's been a long journey, but we're getting there. Anyway, we have Stone Sour with their self-titled debut. And then we have Stone Sour with, what's this one? Audio Secrecy. I haven't listened to this one, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. And it's a special edition with two discs. So really happy to have that in the collection. Then we have Straight From The Path with Eternal Atomics. Yeah, great album from last year. Me boys Street Soldier with Northern Hate. 
absolutely love these guys and their new EP I know is going to absolutely murder people. I cannot wait to review that on the channel. Next up we have Swallow the Sun with Where a Shadow is Forced into the Light. Yeah, absolutely incredible album. Obviously they're coming off that triple album, Songs of the North. So that is kind of a high pedestal to put yourself on. But they absolutely top, topped it, if you ask me. Absolutely incredible release. Well, I don't think they topped it, now that I say that. I think it's just as good. That's my personal preference. Anyway, moving on, we have a couple of System of Down albums. We have their self-titled album. This was my my album back in the day, especially for the song War. If you've played Bruce Willis Apocalypse, you know exactly what I'm on about. Next up, we have um, Steal This Album, which is, I think, missing its booklet, but... Apparently, according to my brother, it didn't come with a booklet, but I don't know. But, yeah, let us know in the comments, did this come with a booklet? Apparently, this is some, like, special edition or something, which I don't I don't think so. I'm not calling him a liar, I'm just saying, I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so make sure you check out this mode down if you haven't already, but just don't don't follow them now, because the height that they're trying to get, they're trying to do it too. Yeah, that's my personal opinion. Fuck this mode down nowadays. Anyway, moving on, we have Testament with Titans of Creation. Yeah, their new album. Fucking incredible. One of the best releases of this year. Next up, we have Thrown Down with Haymaker. I uh, used to love these guys back in the day, so I'm looking forward to checking this one out because I haven't actually listened to it. Thy Artist Murder with Human Target. Thy Dying Light, self titled. Incredible black metal from the UK. Make sure you check that out. Next up, Two Mold, Manor of Infinite Forms. Great, great album. If you're into death metal, look no further. Next up, this one's going to be hard to say, but Traitors with Anger Issues. Well, you can just, as I say, you can more see me like than anything else, but yeah. <clears throat> really good EP. I used to not like that EP, but ever since recently and seeing like live footage of them, I've been like, I can get those tracks now. Anyway, next up we have Trivium with Vengeance Falls. I've been after this special edition one for ages. And I'm so glad to find the one. I think I got this on eBay, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, very underrated album, if you ask me. Then we have the new album, make sure you check out my review, What the Dead Men Say. Incredible, incredible album. One of the best of this year. Next up we have Over with this album. <laughs> yeah. Classic album, and if you haven't heard it and you're in atmospheric black metal, have a word with yourself. Next up, we have Yuna Misery with Sermon. Yeah, some really solid um, stuff. I don't know what to describe this as. It's kind of like, it's it's kind of got metalcore. It's got death metal. It's got groove. It's got a lot going for it. So if that sounds up your alley, definitely give this album a shot. Next up, we have Unearth with Darkness in the Light. Yep, I used to love this album back in the day, and I still love Unearth, but I'm looking forward to giving that a re-spin. Next up, another one of my favourites from this year, Viscera with Obsidian. This is currently at number two behind the Acacia Strain. Incredible, incredible album. Love it. Next up, Volby with Rock the Rebel, Metal the Devil. I only need one more album from these guys, and they've got all their studio albums, and a bit late if you ask me. Now I've got their latest album, which is Rewind, Replay, Rebound. As you know, I've got the hoodie in my last updates and purchases. Yeah, absolutely incredible, incredible album. Definitely grown to become my favourite of theirs. Next up, the new Vulvedania. Vulvedania, I think that's how you pronounce it. I know my guitarist keeps on saying it. I think it's Vulvodnia. He keeps on saying that's, that's wrong. I can't remember. But yeah, Mob Justice, the new album. I've reviewed this on the channel. Make sure you check out my review. Incredible, incredible stuff. Next up, we have Woven War. I'd be surprised if you remember these guys. It features uh, members of As I Lay Dying after Tim Lambesis went to prison. And they got the singer of All Sleeper, if I'm not mistaken, to do vocals. Very good stuff. Very solid metalcore. And I got their second album, which I've never actually listened to, called Honor Is Dead. Yeah. Haven't listened to this one, but I am looking forward to checking it out. If it's anything like the debut, I'll love it. And then the final one, me mate, me mate Sean and Nathan were so happy. I'm sorry, was it Nathan? Might have been Nathan. Was so happy that I finally managed to get some yashing in my collection, and I got we created a monster, which I've never actually listened to 
Uh, I've never listened to this album. I think I've only listened to Renegades, their latest album before they split up. So I'm looking forward to giving this one a spin because apparently it's fucking good. So yeah, that's all the CDs and vinyl. I think we're all up to date on the updates and purchases front. So yeah, um, I'm not going to leave it a year and a bit till my next updates and purchases. I can promise you that. Because, like, you know, there's just been so much going on in the past year that I haven't had a chance to get it all sorted. So I'm glad that I'm finally done with it and I can focus on my album reviews and other content that I've got coming up. I've got some other vlogs in mind that just keep an eye on the channel for when they come about. But yeah, hope you've had a fun time seeing all the albums that I've got. And I hope, hope this hasn't been too long of a video, but it probably has. But yeah, I'll see you until the next video. And remember, stay metal and I'll see you later.